Okay, so here we have our beautiful rack of New Zealand lamb. Um, I actually prefer to cut them into two bone slices instead of roasting it whole because it just cooks quicker this way and you get a really nice, even, juicy center. Okay, we're gonna slice it and see how okay, it goes. So I just sliced the meat and this is the most even I could get them. They don't look too bad. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna salt them and let them sit um, at room temp for maybe like 30 minutes to just absorb some of the moisture. And then we're gonna just pan sear it and into the toaster it goes. They all got a nice little heavy dose of salt, garlic salt, and a little black pepper. I'm just let them rest for a little bit before we start pan stirring them. Okay, I want to cook my chops one at a time because I only have a small pan, but just. Let it sear nice and brown on all the sides, maybe about like total three minutes. And then we're gonna transfer them to a boiled pan. Okay, so the lamb chops are all beautifully seared. Um, right now I'm gonna top it off with some homemade chimichurri sauce. It's right here. You can top them with any herbs, but I just prefer doing chimichurri, which is pretty much a little bit of minced parsley, garlic, shallots, olive oil, lemon, and crushed chilies. It's super flavorful and super easy to make and it's really good on any kind of meat. So I'm gonna just give them a little bit of a schmear. Also, I had been preheating my oven since I took the lamp out of the skillet. So it should be preheating at 400 or around 375. I'm gonna 
roast them for maybe like five minutes, seven minutes, not too long. So we got a nice medium rare on the inside. And we'll just check in and see how they're doing. We can also save some of the sauce for later for a nice little drizzle. Here are the lamb chops before they head into the little toaster oven. You can use your oven, but I'm just cooking for one, so I'm gonna just stick to the toaster oven so it'll be a little bit easier to use. Okay. Okay, so we'll let these babies go. I'm gonna wait until they get a little bit more brown and then we'll see what time and temp we're on. So let's just check back in. Okay, these guys are almost done. I like to put the last few minutes on broil to get a nice, beautiful char. Probably the last two minutes before I take them out. Very right, tight. Okay, so while the lamb chops finish cooking, I'm gonna put together the salad real quick. So I have some baby kale that I dressed with a little bit of Caesar. I'm gonna, so I'm adding a little bit of fresh shaved white sweet cheddar just over the salad to give it a little more texture. our lamb out of the toaster. And that's our beautiful lamb chop. Okay, let's give it a slice to see how the temp looks. And that is a beautiful all right, let's take a look at that temperature. Look at that beautiful pink running all the way through. I definitely prefer the sear and roast method, but for the two chop cut, because you get a more even cookery and it's super easy to make versus doing like a whole roast or slice them individually. So yeah, there you go. Here's a close look at it, super pink juicy look at all the juice coming out of there and tender all the way through definitely give this recipe a try thanks for watching